Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For today's video, I will discuss the binomial theorem. Recall that a binomial is a polynomial with two terms, just like these examples. 3x plus y, 2x squared minus 1, 5x minus 2z cubed, and others. Now when asked to multiply a binomial by itself, say x plus y, here we can use various methods like horizontal multiplication, vertical multiplication, foil method, and special products. Now what happens when we multiply this binomial by itself many times? Say x plus y times x plus y, the product will be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now take this product and multiply it again by x plus y. It will be x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Multiply it again by the binomial, the product will be x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y raised to 4. Notice that the calculations get longer and longer as we go, but there is some kind of pattern developing. If we will observe this product of quantity x plus y raised to 4, the sum of the exponents of each term is equal to 4, which means that the degree of each term is equal to the power. In this case, that is equal to 4. Also take into notice that the exponent of the first term x in the binomial decreases from x raised to 4 to x cubed, x squared, x until it disappears or x raised to 0, that is equal to 1. Meanwhile, second term y in the binomial increases from y raised to 0 to y, y squared, y cubed, and y raised to 4. For the numerical coefficients, we will get the values from the Pascal's triangle. In mathematics, Pascal's triangle is a triangular array of the binomial coefficients. Here, the topmost number is for the exponent 0. Next row is for the linear. Third row for quadratic. Fourth for cubic. And fifth row for quartic or raised to 4. So in the expansion, the numerical coefficient used are 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. By the way, to know the next row of numbers, we will write 1 to both ends of the number array and then we will add the two numbers above it to know what's next. Like here, we place 1 to the first and last. Now adding 1 and 3, the sum is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. That's why these are the values. Another way of knowing the numerical coefficients is by applying the concept of combinations. Now, all of these patterns summed up to binomial theorem. In short, it is the shorter way of finding or expanding a binomial to the power of n. To better understand the process, let's try to expand the following binomials. Example number 1, expand the binomial 2x plus 3 raised to 5 using Pascal's triangle. Again, we need to remember that the degree or the sum of the exponents of each term is equal to the power. In this case, that is equal to 5. Here, we will write the first term 2x in decreasing powers. It will be quantity 2x raised to 5, then plus. So, the addition symbol here will be used to separate terms. Next, we have quantity 2x raised to 4 plus quantity 2x cubed plus the square of quantity 2x plus 2x. Next, we will write the second term 3 in increasing powers. Here, we will no longer write 3 raised to 0 in the first term since that is equal to 1. The second term, quantity 2x raised to 4, will be multiplied by 3. Third term, that will be 3 squared. For the fourth term, that is 3 cubed. Fifth term, 3 raised to 4. And lastly, for the 6th term, that will be plus 3 raised to 5. Now take note that the number of terms in an expansion is 1 more than the power of the binomial. So in this example, if n is equal to 5, expect that there are 6 terms in the answer. 
Counting the terms in our expansion, we have the first term, that is quantity 2x raised to 5. Second term, quantity 2x raised to 4 times 3, all the way up to the sixth term, 3 raised to 5. Next, supply the numerical coefficients. Using Pascal's triangle, the numerical coefficients are the numbers in the sixth row, which are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. Lastly, evaluate each term. The fifth power of 2x is equal to 32x raised to 5, plus 5 times the fourth power of quantity 2x times 3, the product is 240x raised to 4, plus 10 times the cube of quantity 2x times 3 squared, that will be equal to 720x cubed, plus 10 times the square of 2x times cube of 3, the product there is 1080x squared, plus 5 times quantity 2x times 3 raised to 4, 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81 times 10x is 810x. And lastly, 3 raised to 5, that is equivalent to 243. Hence, the expanded form of the binomial quantity 2x plus 3 raised to 5 is 32x raised to 5 plus 240x raised to 4 plus 720x cubed plus 1080x squared plus 810x plus 243. For our second example, expand the binomial quantity 3x squared minus 5y raised to 4. Again, the power or exponent of the binomial will dictate the number of terms in the expansion. Here, the power is 4, so we expect that there are 5 terms in our answer since the terms should be 1 more than the power. Here, we will rewrite the first term, quantity 3x squared in decreasing powers. For the expansion's first term, that is the fourth power of quantity 3x squared, then plus, don't forget the addition symbol that will separate terms, the second term will be quantity 3x squared raised to 3 or cubed, followed by the square of quantity 3x squared, then 3x squared, then 3x squared raised to 0 or simply 1. For the binomial second term, negative 5y, we will rewrite that in increasing powers. For the first term, that is negative 5y raised to 0 or simply 1. Next, negative 5y. Then the square of negative 5y, followed by the cube of negative 5y. And lastly, the fourth power of negative 5y. To complete the expansion, we need to supply numerical coefficients to each term. In the Pascal's triangle, the numerical coefficients for the power of 4 are 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Now we will insert these values in our expansion. The last step would be to evaluate each term. The fourth power of 3x squared is 81x raised to 8. That is 3 raised to 4 or 81. Then x squared raised to 4. Here, we will multiply the exponents 2 and 4, that is equal to 8. Thus, the first term is 81x raised to 8. Then plus, for the second term, 4 times the cube of 3x squared times negative 5y. 3 cubed is 27, times 4 is 108, times negative 5 is negative 540. Then the cube of x squared is x raised to 6. Then affix y. Thus, the second term is negative 540, x raised to 6y, plus 6 times the square of quantity 3x squared, times the square of negative 5y, 3 squared is 9, negative 5 squared is positive 25, 6 times 9 is 54, times 25 is 1350. Then we have x raised to 4y squared. For the fourth term, 4 times the quantity 3x squared times the cube of quantity negative 5y. Cube of negative 5 is negative 125. Times 4 is negative 500. Multiplied by 3, product is negative 1500. Then x squared, y cubed. For the last term, the fourth power of negative 5y, that is equal to 
625 y raised to 4. Hence, the expanded form of the binomial quantity 3x squared minus 5y raised to 4 is 81x raised to 8 minus 540x raised to 6y plus 1350x raised to 4y squared minus 1500x squared y cubed plus 625y raised to 4. Now, four things to remember when expanding a binomial using the binomial theorem. Number one, the number of terms in the expansion is one more than the power of the binomial. Number two, the power of the binomial's first term in the expansion is in decreasing pattern. Number three, the power of the binomial second term in the expansion is in increasing pattern. Number four, don't forget to include the numerical coefficient of each term in the expansion. You may get that from the Pascal's triangle or simply by solving. And lastly, number five, always be careful when evaluating the terms. Thank you for watching. God bless.